with my dad. I am I'm pretty sure I didn't start this video yet, so welcome. We just got back, we got breakfast at First Watch, and now we went grocery shopping, and I spent approximately $88 at the grocery store and got mostly just beverages because that's how I live my life. But um, my dad's here until Wednesday, and then Wednesday's girls' night, and then Thursday I'm gonna make dinner, Friday. We're having Chris's birthday game night, so we'll be having dinner at Andrea's. Saturday we're going to the rodeo, so we won't have dinner here. So basically, I didn't need much, but let's get into it. So we got the Diet Cokes, my grapefruit sparkles, they finally had all the flavors. My favorite, lemonade, black raspberry, and then my dad wanted this one. I want to try it. Coconut pineapple. So there's that. We got the chicken. I'm gonna be making like the barbecue chicken, green beans and bacon, and pasta salad again. So bacon. Oh my god, the freaking deli, you guys. Nobody was waiting on anybody. There was all this whole line, and I just couldn't be bothered to wait. So instead of having my like thicker cut provolone and salami, we're just going with sandwich slices because I couldn't be bothered. So provolone and salami, mini mozzarella, bell pepper. Um, garden rotini. That's all for the pasta salad. Biscuits, possibly for breakfast. This is stuff. So me and Andre were talking about yellow cake with chocolate frosting, and then I should make it. And I was like, what should I make it for? And I'm like, she's like Easter, and I'll make a cake for Easter. And she's like, yeah, I don't see why not. So I'm gonna make that, but I'm gonna put these bunnies on it and some sprinkles to make it look kind of Eastery, I guess. Also for my dad, this is his favorite. What's your favorite rendition of Reese's? Let it grow. French cut green beans for the green beans and bacon, Italian dressing, and what is this called? Olives for the pasta salad, the best brand of French onion dip, wavy lays, I am out of band-aids, so obviously went with frozen, we got more banana chocolate chip muffins, and buns. After waiting six months for my Diet Coke, we got that in the food at the same time. sure you guys will see that in future videos. I did take a picture. I'll show it to you really quick. Focus, focus, focus. Be cute. But, um, I'm about to put pants on. We're gonna go grab dinner. I just spent forever on the phone with Verizon trying to help my dad get his phone transferred because he, like, retired and he's keeping his phone number from, like, his work phone, blah, blah, blah. And like it just says like the bill is past due and it can't be transferred and he's like the bill's literally like I paid it and it shows the bill's paid turns out it's his work who hasn't paid the bill so got that all situated and now we're gonna go get I think Chinese food this restaurant's been interesting so far guys we had to all share a menu a paper throwaway menu <laughs> and here we are <laughs> okay well Chris and I are about to set up to play the good old Lark Nova but we gotta play it on the floor because our house is too small, our table is too small to play it on the table. And honestly, we've only played it one time, so I'm gonna have to rewatch the how to play video to even set it up. But I just want you guys to put your bets in now how long this game's gonna take us. I'm starting set up at 5.39. I bet you, what time do you think, by the time we get this set up and start playing, what time do you think we'll be done? It's 5.39. It's 5.39 now, it's gonna take at least two hours to play. So 7.40. Okay, that's Chris's guess. I think we'll be done by 7.15, so we will see.
Y'all, I have neglected you today and I apologize. Um, me, my dad, and Chris went out to breakfast at Monument Cafe. It was pretty good. And then we went to Half Price Books. I got a couple more books, which I will show you guys. And then I honestly took a nap because it's just been one of those days. It's like gloomy out and miserable. And then I did just film a couple of unboxings for Board Game Girlies. And now I filmed a haul clip so I could lay it on my spread for next week, which I'm doing right now, which is the TMZ kit. And I'm very excited because the movie comes out next week. It's going to be our first time going to the movies since we've lived here. But... Yeah, so I'm just laying this down currently, and then we are going to be going out to dinner tonight. It's my dad's last night here. He does depart tomorrow, which I'm sad about, obviously. I'm going to miss him. But yeah, my head just hurts really bad, and I haven't really been doing a whole lot. Just kind of like hanging and soaking up the last full day together, essentially. We did watch Hunger Games last night. I got my dad into that. We watched the first one, and then he actually stayed up. And watch the second one like a maniac i finished the book i was reading which is called the way i used to be and like definitely trigger warnings to the max with that because it's very essay heavy but it was a very well written good book i read it in three days it kept me hooked so i do recommend if that's something you're capable of reading about it's very well regarded it has like a four point something on goodreads and i feel like anything that's in the fours like that's how you know she'd be a pretty good one but i'm just gonna lay down this spread because none of us were quite ready for dinner which is so funny because we've all been like so hungry at all times then we got breakfast and they brought us out like these appetizer biscuits and then none of us like Chris always finishes his meal. He didn't finish his meal. My dad couldn't even finish his burger. I barely ate any of mine. I swear they had like some magic potion in there that like made us all super full. But yeah, it's been a, quite a nice day so far. And like I said, I did pick up four more books at, went to a different half price books because we're just trying to like do something, walk around, trying to walk off the food babies we all had acquired. And... Yeah, of course I stumbled upon so like I used to hate that store honestly until this week because it's just overwhelming but then I had the brilliant idea of just only looking at the books that are like book of the month because you can tell by the spine that it's a book of the month book and then if you're only like scanning for that and then you pick up those books and read the synopsis it's a lot less overwhelming than just looking at like a bazillion books so I've really been liking that mindset going in and it's just been making it kind of a lot of fun to see what you can go in and score. This looks so good. But yeah, that's the plan. I'm gonna keep working on this. GB to do grocery shopping. Where'd you put the thing she brought in, babe? Oh, okay, I found it. We did grocery shopping the second edition because I forgot some things. Hee <laughs> hee, including. Here we go, ready? Sandwich pickles. Red onion. And then Chris wanted more cheese and crackers because my dad had bought it and now Chris is addicted. He wanted saltines because it's bizarre. Um, another cheese pack and some pepperoni and then I'll tell you about my books. Okay, 
These are the four I picked up. First one is No Exit by Taylor Adams. You guys, this way. It's really dark in here because you know it's laid out. It's not late, but whatever. This is the first one. So basically, this one is about a girl who is going to go see her dying mother, gets caught in a blizzard, and can't like find any. There's no cell service, so she goes inside of a like highway rest stop, and there's a couple strangers in there. Still no service, goes back to her car and realizes the van next to her has like a child in like a cage in it. So there's apparently this kidnapped child, so had to get that, it sounds wild. I got the wife between us. No idea really what this is about because the synopsis literally just says, when you read this book, you will make many assumptions. You will assume you're reading about a jealous ex-wife. You will assume she is obsessed with her replacement. You will assume you know the anatomy of this tangled love triangle. We'll assume nothing. So it was very vague and that intrigued me. This one is about a pastor and a lawyer, pretty normal family, and then their 18 year old daughter is being accused of murdering somebody 15 years older than her, so there's that. And then we have girl A, which is about a girl who had like a couple of siblings and she was just referred to as girl A, the oldest sibling, and she freed, they escape their parent their family house called the house of horrors and then after the mom dies while in prison they have to like go back to the house and like relive the trauma so those are the four books i picked up at half by his books and i think we're gonna watch maybe mocking j part one i don't really know it's eight o'clock and i'm quite frankly ready for bed but also ready for second dinner because i didn't really like my dinner so all i ate was tater tots and a piece of celery so we'll see what i end up doing good morning guys sadly today is the day my dad is leaving but i'm just getting things prepped because tomorrow is the big shop white sale i just activated the listings and i'm waiting for this extension that i use to sync up everything to add the new font for the sale but we are going to be having pasta salad for dinner tomorrow so i need to like start making it because it's Better than the day before. Going on sauce and broccoli. Start with that. I'm gonna put this colander and run some water on it, and I'm gonna get the noodles going. Oh, okay, that was a lot. I guess we're having a lot of broccoli in there, which is fine, but. Gotta let the cold water just run and defaw them bad boys. And we are gonna get our garden rotini. Going, waiting for the water to boil. Now I'm gonna go check on the listings. Hi guys, I pretty much didn't film anything yesterday. But things are gonna get back to normal now that I am back to my normal life. Um, yesterday, I just kind of like took the last day with my dad. I did get some clips of, we went to Round Rock Donuts and we went to the domain and we got culinary dropout for lunch. And then we just kind of ran around, went to a couple of random stores and then I brought him to the airport. Then I went directly to Andrea's house, read about 5,000 books to Theo. Then Andrea and I went to dinner and I'm pretty sure I got like the world's like, not even a whole second clip of that, but it was really good. And then we played like eight games last night. We played Cover Your Assets. The Cruella Villainous Expansion, Above and Below, Tic Tac KO Cute vs. Evil, Cascadia. Um, I guess I could just look for the ones I'm forgetting. Um, Marvel Dice Throne, Seven Wonders Duel, and Splendor Duel. Did all the things. It was great, fun, fabulous, wonderful. Then the sale started last night, and I think I'm gonna take today to just chill. But I wanted to show you guys the cute little things that Andrea picked me up when she was in New York. First off, Nick told me he's like, I found this in the office, and you had to have it. And it just says she leaves a little sparkle wherever she goes because he hates my glitter. Let's focus. Okay. And so while Andrea was in New York, she found this figment munchling and i guess i'm guessing he's like a fig roll but it's she said that it had like flower and garden stuff on it but like this wasn't there when we were at flower and garden so very cute and then you guys she got me another one of like the vegetable ones where you like open it 
it's a mystery and the whole time we were opening them when we were in disney i just wanted baked potato mickey and i opened it and i got baked potato mickey mouse so i'm so freaking excited obsessed with him kind of smells like a potato then this super cool azkaban prison card and then she got me the coolest wand i'll show you guys a dark arts wand and here it is oh my god look at this it's got like the basilisk on the top to focus and then there we go all of these death eater masks it's so freaking cool i'm obsessed She's just the best. Like, literally wonderful, fantastic. So freaking cool. Love her. But I think I'm literally going to spend the majority of today just playing Hogwarts Legacy and hanging out because I just need a breather, honestly. And that's pretty much the setup. Tomorrow we're doing game night. Chris's birthday is on Saturday. So we're going to have game night tomorrow. And then on Saturday, we are going to the Rodeo. So that'll also be quite fun. Very fun filled Chris weekend. And I can't wait to celebrate him because I love him. Just want to show you guys first and foremost. Mickey and Figment added to their pals. And then I added I like a bread scent going in there and it's crazy. The new wand to the setup. The dark side is outweighing the light at the moment. But that's fine. Super cute. I also got Reagan's birthday present. I need to wrap that soon. I gotta grab her birthday card and I need to get Andrea a birthday card also. But yeah, I'm about to plant my bottom here with my Diet Coke and relax. YouTube. Chris is editing a video because he's the best. And we're just having a chill day. Yo, I'm still um just playing my game, honestly. I was gonna tell you what time it is, but the kitchen says it's 12 16 and it's like three something. I know that much. Ooh, I think I'm gonna have a blue sparkle. I've had one of these in a while, but I literally came all the way to the kitchen and to get a drink and then like I was defawing some chicken in the sink and it was done defawing finally so I put it in the fridge and then I just never got a drink. Weird, but yum. Yeah. Tomorrow I'm going to, I got all of the cake ordering details for Chris, but I grabbed that. I'm just like continuing my little journey and watching Andrea's plan with me at the Momento and um, it's a great time. Loving everything about it. And yeah. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just feeling kind of down today, to, if I'm gonna be honest with you guys. So I just feel, I don't know. I feel like tits, like you're not supposed to talk about it. I don't know. I just feel kind of like down about myself today. I don't know. I'm just like, I don't know, Aunt Flo's here, my dad left yesterday, I just feel kind of sad, so I'm just trying to distract myself, and myself cry, 
But yeah, we're just, it is 3.14. We're gonna drink our little drinky drink, if you know you know, delish, and continue on with our Hogwarts journey. Okay, y'all, we are starting dinner. I'm literally starving to death. I've had too much caffeine and not enough real food. But I'm just gonna slap the chicken on a baking sheet and just gonna season it with salt and pepper because we're gonna I'm gonna pull it with the KitchenAid and make it a bowl. Oh, barbecue sauce on the side. I'm making <coughs> Oh my gosh. I'm going to be making great beef and bacon, but my dad gave me the tip is that when he makes it, he just puts the bacon in the microwave and he gave me the how to on how to go about that because I was unaware that that was a thing. So we're gonna do this easy mode and I already have the pasta salad made and I'm gonna be honest, I might eat some as an appetizer because I gotta pop this chicken in the oven and it has to go in for like 30 minutes and then I'm just gonna be like sitting here, not like here in the kitchen, but like sitting around for like 30 minutes and I'm so hungry. It's all I can think about and it's getting me in a very bad mood. So it might just be beneficial to my attitude. I just have a little, you know, a little bit now of the pasta salad. My dad said I can just like cut off a chunk of bacon and put it, I don't know, I'll have to relook at my phone when my hands are not disgusting, in like a bowl and microwave it and then for like four minutes and then do two more minutes until it's like done to my desired doneness and then I can basically just pour the grease into the green beans and go from there, so. It's his invention, so I'm sure it works. That's literally how he does it, he told me. Salt and pepper. Now I'm just gonna cook the, uh, the oven's not preheated, so I'm gonna put it in for like 25 minutes. Set timer for 25 minutes. And then we will check on it, but in the meantime, I will get the green beans out. I'm going to need those. I'm not going to get the bacon out because I don't want it to, like, sit out, obviously. I've got one white onion left in here, so I'll cut that up to go on the sandwiches. And then I've got buns and barbecue sauce. Here and I did buy pickles because we had ran out. Oh, I'm just so hungry. I'm excited. I am ick freaking excited. But yeah. So, I'll check up with you guys when dinner is ready. Okay, guys, the microwave bacon worked out. My microwaving the bacon worked out perfect. We've got our green beans and bacon, pasta salad, the chicken, barbecue, buns onion and a pickle and i'm gonna call chris because i'm like so hungry we're both like all of eating today is a muffin which i just eating sugar all day not a good life choice but here we are i'm gonna call him for dinner so we're gonna chow down bone apple tea baby this looks so good you guys i just put that food away if you know what i mean she went down the hatch i'm sorry i'm down here putting more paper in the printer i'm printing Invoices now for all of my orders from prior to the sale and so far for the sale. And you guys did, by the time you guys see this, the sale will be over. But if you did support my shop during the sale, I do want you to know. I'm very grateful for you. Thankful, grateful, blessed. Love you. I wouldn't be here without you. You're right. But it's 5.30 now, so I'm printing these bad boys. And then when I'm done with this, I'm going to, first and foremost, schedule my video for tomorrow, my vlog. And then I'm going to take a magma lava hot shower, scrub my hair, scrub my face, scrub everything, and 
pass the fuck out. I am very tired, mentally just not that great, and I just want to sleep. So I'm going to turn on the TV because it's going to take me a little bit of time. Eh, maybe I'll just continue watching, listening on here so I don't have to find the video that I'm watching, but I'm going to do that and then lay down because I'm tired. Will I go to sleep for the night? Maybe. Will I take a nap? Who knows? You guys, that shower, life changing. It's all so good. Oh, I'm just so tired. And it's so bright because of the time change, which I'm happy about. But I think I'm just honestly going to lay down and read some of my book. This is the current book I'm about to start, The Perfect Sun by Lauren North. Hopefully it's good, but I want nothing more than to just lay in bed right now because... I'm just going through it, you guys. Just going through it. Okay, it's 9 o'clock and Chris hit me with the it's his birthday week. But why don't you tell everybody what you also fucked up? What did I fuck up? What do you mean? You said we had to stay up till midnight? I said we had to stay up until midnight because tomorrow's my birthday. Turns out tomorrow's not my birthday. It is exactly the 23rd. If this would focus, it's the 23rd. And his birthday's the 25th, so that was incorrect. Listen. But this is a very complicated game. It's rated like almost a 4 out of 5 on difficulty. And we're starting this at 9 p.m. And there's literally an entire page on how to organize. So that's a step in the plus for me. We love that. So we're gonna get to punching out all of these. Okay guys, we played the one round of Gloomhaven. It was pretty easy, cause it's supposed to be, cause it's the first one. And then we played a game of Welcome To, and that was also really fun. I think it's like really bad, like pain in my shoulder. I don't know, it feels like I have like, I don't know, like a kink in my muscle or something. I don't know, I hate it. But I think I'm gonna like have a little midnight snack. It's like 11.30 and then go to bed because I'm a tired girl. But yeah, it was just like a fun little cutie evening hanging with Chris, but I need to fill my water and decide what I want. I might just eat more pasta salad. We shall see. Hello guys, it's Chris's birthday eve and game night and it's when it's your birthday in our group. When it is your birthday in our game group, you get to pick all the games for game night. And well, besides our campaign, but Chris picked Lawson's of Arnak, the Taverns of Teeth and Tell. These colors are just so Chris's energy. So it's so, so funny. And then he had a weird pick that kind of um, shocked both me and Andrea of Seven Wonders. Not that there's any issue with it. It's just like didn't realize he really liked that game that much, but. We got the games, I'm gonna go put them in the bag with a game I accidentally stole from her. And then I have some birthday eve festivities because tomorrow we are going to Zerodeo, okay? Yeah. And so we're doing like birthday cake and stuff today. So I need to go get the cake, which we are just doing um, individual cakes from Nothing Bunt Cake. So I got my flavor, which I always get lemon, I always get strawberries and cream, and then I got Andrea and Nick's picks, which is red velvet and raspberries. I think Cassie Cake needs to go on the side because it's a small box. And these all fit. So, those are ready to go. I'm gonna pop on my shoes and head out to do this. And then I just asked Andrea if she has birthday cake candles or if I should get them. And then um, I need to go somewhere with an ATM to get cash for the rodeo. No idea how much I'm gonna need. I was just writing my books yesterday. I'm reading The Perfect Sun. I only got like 50 pages in there. But so far, pretty interesting. But I'm gonna run out now. <laughs> I'll get there. Oh shit. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Chris. Happy birthday to you. 
It's just going to keep going, I think. Again. <laughs> His grandpa's out of a wind of 30. I got it. Okay, I'll just go home. The hair went up. Cakes have been secured. I also picked up a birthday card for Andrea and Reagan. I should have picked one up for my sister too, but I didn't think about it until I got literally all the way to the car and I texted her for her birthday list. And yeah, I think I'm gonna make myself something to eat for lunch. Um, I don't know why there's just like a lid on the counter. Very confused. But I think I might just eat, heat up the leftover chicken and just have like a sandwich and some pasta salad. And then I am going to pull stickers for a plan with me. And then film a plan with me, film a haul clip, and then organize all of the orders from the sale so far. And maybe pull foil. I stopped and got a McDonald's at Coke. Got even my second favorite lid, which is safer every sip. So that's exciting. And I need to switch over the laundry. I'm gonna do that first and foremost. Then I'm gonna eat something and then do the videos. Barely drank this yesterday. I'm gonna dump the rest of it. Wasteful, I know, but I was so hungry and had just only consumed caffeine all day yesterday. And I was very like jittery. So maybe actually I'm gonna put the chicken in the microwave, have it microwave while I'm changing the laundry. We're gonna be efficient today. But yeah, it seems like a pretty solid plan. There's only like a tiny bit of chicken left, so this should be good for one sandwich. If I do have more chicken in the freezer, I'm thinking of possibly not today, but like on maybe Sunday, because we're pretty busy today and tomorrow. Just defying it and cooking it, and then having it also for sandwiches. A couple of these pieces are bigger than I like, so I'm just tearing them up a little. I'm going to throw this in here. Probably two minutes because it's really freaking cold. So let's go change the laundry. I bought like that big jumbo thing of them when we first moved here in August. But it's just me and Chris and I just wear like the same sweatshirt all week, realistically, because I'm not doing anything to get dirty and gross. Maybe you guys think that's gross, but I feel like anybody I mention it to also does the same thing. Like we wear sweatshirts. Change my underwear every day, obviously. But um Finally, I'm gonna have to buy laundry pods and dryer sheets soon. Pickle and onion and barbecue for the sandwich. Grab the mountain of pasta, salad, and then the chicken stone. I started with fun. Well, um, the other thing. Okay. Whoa. My microwave just flew open and almost took me the fuck out. But. So a lot of people are watching YouTube and getting color analysis done. And I think they're so fun and interesting. But like genuinely, who's getting them? Other than YouTubers because it's a fun and interesting video. I've seen Hannah Wittens because I love her. She's a queen. I watch... Who else did I watch recently? Hannah Wittens I liked better than the other one that I watched. Oh. Sophia Nygaard watched hers, and then my fave YouTuber Sierra mentioned that she, um, oh my god, I way overcooked this, fuck. Never mind on the sandwich front, because that's dried out to a crisp, my mistake. 
Yes, we're just doing a lot of foxes out of it. Oh well. Put the button back. But um like what exactly is the purpose? I get the purpose is to find out what colors look nice on you, but are people then gonna just like stop wearing the colors they like and feel good in and start wearing colors that somebody tells them to? Because I feel like that's not accurate. And then like I know that there's like the base ways you can figure out if you're cool or warm and then there's the seasons and all the shit part of it though is you have to look at your veins on your wrist that's like the at home version to figure out if you're cool or warm and anybody who knows me knows that wrists are one of my biggest fears hate them i think they're absolutely disgusting switching to a bowl since we're just having pasta salad but yeah i think wrists are absolutely disgusting so there's no way in hell i'm going to be looking at mine for very long but i looked really quick and they're blue so i guess that means i'm cool which means that would be winter or summer and that's as much as i understand about it but like i mean the only colors i really wear is black white this shade of green and once in a while i'll wear red simply because one time somebody told me i looked nice in red and really that just wasn't green in my head that red is my color but yeah it's like i want to do one but for no reason other than because i think it's interesting and i'm not going to stop wearing just black like i just mainly only like black i don't usually love black in my home, the only real colory, colorful, colored things I have are like, I have pink dishes, a pink, where is she? KitchenAid, pink kitchen chairs, and a pink couch. Most things that I own are black or white, or they're things that came in the house that I don't have control over, like these brown cupboards that I hate. But yeah, I just think it's interesting. I think it's very, very interesting. I have a hair appointment this upcoming week, and I'm gonna try to be brave and tell her that I really would like it more cool toned. This is like the end of my hair since it's been done. I've purple shampooed it a couple of times, but it's just like too golden when she did it last time. But like, I don't want him to, her to think that it's like an insult on her skill because, like, I think it looked great, it's just not my preferred preference. And also, like, realistically, for a girl getting her hair expensive, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, she's like $300. So I feel like if I wanted a little bit more cool toned, it's my money, and like, realistically, why the fuck would she care? She'd be like, I ain't cool. I feel like it would only be annoying if the whole hairdo was done, and I was like, mm, by the way, redo it. That would be annoying, but if I'm like starting out, initiating it with, can we just go a little more cool tone this time? I don't think it would be that annoying. But I just don't like the idea of being annoying. I have this pistachio scent going in here right now. So good. But yeah. I can just turn my computer off. Instead of on. Hate this journey for me. I'm gonna watch some YouTube, eat my pasta salad, and then as I mentioned, I will be filming a plan with me. For last week, I'm gonna be using the cottage core kit from School Prince Co. It's gonna be really pretty with like the rose and the olive. It's just gonna be a vibe. And then I'm gonna film that. And then I have a haul clip from the Wednesday Fantasy Wax collection and the in an, an SPC order. It's so funny because when I ordered the Wednesday collection, I had not oh, even begun the show and now I've watched the entire thing, so now the names make sense to me. So that's kind of fun and fresh. So we're gonna do that and then organize orders and workity work work stuff. And we're not going to Andrea's until seven because Nick changed the boys bedtime and it's just like obviously more tricky to get kids to sleep with guests. So we just gonna roll up once they in bed, obviously. And one of the games we're playing, I remember that Andrea had it and I didn't want to like bring it and her be like, why are you bringing this? I have the game. So I was like, confirmed with her to bring my own because I don't think she's played hers yet. So there's that. 
we're almost to another milestone in the shop which will be 97,000 sales which is frickety dickety docking exciting and I am just out here living my best life also I don't know if you guys watch Mammoth Club on um, they do like Disney mostly Disney sometimes Universal videos but she just posted like getting the express pass how much can you actually get done during like spring break girl you can get nothing done because I was there when it was not spring break and got nothing done because fuck universal it's kind of how I feel I'm gonna find something good to watch and just chillaxy poo with my pasta salad and just vibe okay I think the next video up I'm going to watch is the cool coverage podcast so we're gonna Watch, eat, and live our best life. Okay, guys, I finished filming those videos and then I forgot that I had a book video I wanted to film of the eight books that I was able to buy for only like 60 bucks. So I just filmed that. I got freaking sweaty running around the house. Ugh. I don't have any more room in my to be read section, so these need to. I'll go up here for now until I have room as I read through books, which I'm trying to read at least an hour a day for my own sanity. But turns out I thought yellow was my shelf with the least amount of books, but turns out it's green. Blue, too many blue books. Black, too many black books. This book is another one that I'm getting rid of. I'm like, books that like I absolutely hate are DNF are going to be going to the um, Little Free Library in my neighborhood and so I have like three books currently that I need to take to there, to theirs. But yeah, now we're going to print out the rest of the open orders, sort through them, aka like write down on the top of it like which freebie tier they're at and then I'll organize them which means I will basically write a note on my computer go through everything put it in order of like what color everything's supposed to be because like otherwise i have to hold on to the paper and it's just like a whole thing this is just what works best kind of tedious and redundant but over the years of practice this has been what works best for our methods my dad texted me he's making homemade banana bread and he just sent me pictures and it looks freaking bomb show you guys looks so good i'm so jealous it looks flames but yeah so that video done gonna go and print these now and do some work 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 we'll watch on youtube of course chris just had me go all the way into his office just to tell chad that arby's is good so i need your opinion how do you feel about arby's the truth is, it's good. He used to think it was gross, and then I got proven wrong, and I hate being wrong, so that's how you know. It's the shit, but let me know. Also, I'm, like, freezing to death, and, like, the vent is there, and I have, like, gotten on a chair and aimed it, like, not towards me anymore, but it's still, like, just blowing on me somehow. I don't know where from, and I thought I had turned the air off because I was literally freezing to death and can't feel my fingers, which is kind of hard when I'm trying to type, and I just realized I didn't actually turn it off. Like, I didn't click it over all the way. Y'all, I did so good on Friday not forgetting about you and, or Friday during the day, and then I did bad. We ended up having a game night yesterday. We got Chinese food, and then we played My City and the Lost Runes of Arnak, and like sing happy birthday, which I did get a clip of the happy birthday singing, so insert, but now it's Chris's birthday and his birthday lunch first we went to the gas station because i needed to get cash still and gas so we did that and then his birthday lunch request was burger king cheap date mainly because i don't like burger king very much like it's like a two out of ten and he said well you can't say no because it's my birthday so i want burger king you know what respect that's the way to do it so did that and then I just FaceTimed with my sister for a little bit because she was picking her melting basket and she always FaceTimes me while she does that. And now me and Chris I think might play some sort of game. I don't really know what we're gonna play. 
I might play Seven Wonders Duel because I have that that I'm borrowing from Andrea. I didn't actually steal it this time. This one, she actually knows that I have, lol. But yeah, that's like the plans for now. Actually, I think in the meantime, because Chris is finishing up his lunch, I will be filling out my planner because I don't think I filled out, finished filling out yesterday. Let's see where we at. Where are we at on this journey? I was up until like four o'clock in the morning because like I'm honestly mentally not doing great. So yeah, mentally not doing the best. So I couldn't sleep last night. Yeah, I hate to see it. But I will be just filling this out and then hopefully we'll get to be doing something to occupy my mind. We're playing Dungeons, Dice, and Danger. Video, what I mean by that, and so it's been a while since I showed you guys. But basically, I have these bins and I place them here, and then I just take a stack of the orders and I will take one of these little sticky notes. I'll show you guys, do it to not show anybody's address. And I will just pop this here so I know where I pulled foil up until. So do that. Then, dun, 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 dun. lighting in here, atrocious. I'll take the stack that I just grabbed and I'll start from the back. And I will go through and like go through the order backwards so everything is like in correct order and I'll just stack a pile of like all of like the sheets of foil that I'm gonna need and then I'll put fold it in half and put it in here and in there I'll show you we'll do this one together and let's see whose order we're pulling foil for in case he or she happens to be watching we'll let you know this is Lydia from I think overseas because it's it's a my US box address. But okay, so the first thing is there's two matte bronze. I'll tip you guys downwards so you can see what I'm doing. 
shorten your little sticky poo. Okay. So we got one matte bronze, two matte bronze, then no foil, silver, silver, gold, rose, and hollow are all already over at my desk, so I don't pull those. Another matte bronze. Pull that out. We have some no foil. Those are always exciting. We got some pixie hollow, which I have none pre-cut for, so I'm gonna need to cut a little bit of this. It's actually a pretty good one to show you guys because it's not super big, so it won't take forever. Well, like the amount of foil that I need that's not like a core color isn't crazy. So, and it has a mixture between long and short. So, things that are like full size sheets are these long ones, and then things like scripts and stuff are half size sheets or like quarter size sheets. So, when they are obviously smaller pieces of foil okay so we need a pixie hollow for the crystal washi and then she got something in pixie hollow that is just a script so i'll take this cut it in half and then in this organizer i will pop this just in this bottom section and then i have a basket where i just hold little scraps of foil so we'll pop that in there. We need a lavender. And then we need two more lavender. Cut a little bit of lavender. Before when I had more time on my hands, me and Chris would like take a day and like pre-cut a bunch of foil so I wouldn't have to do it while I'm pulling foil, but we just quite frankly not have the time. Then we need two pixie gold. Sometimes I stock and I accidentally cut stuff too skinny and then I have to wait for it to be used for washi or I will use it for freebies. So two pixie gold. And we're getting flipping into the last page of her order. And all we need for this page is two pixie hollow. Oh. Which works out. Right here. And then what I will do is it's gonna be kind of hard to do it with one hand i'll take it i won't like fold it but like i'll fold it i won't like fold it hard with like a hard crease i'll just like bend it and i'll put it right there and then i'll stack them then as i'm doing orders i can pull the foil that's specifically for that order and that's how it works now i'm gonna watch some youtube and it's 206 we need to leave here in an hour i'm hoping i can pull foil for that whole chunk in the next hour. I'm gonna also grab my glasses because I'm supposed to wear them when I read or on the computer. We're getting these invoices pretty much in the dark because of the bad lighting. Calls for my spectacles. Ugh, baked potato Mickey Mouse. It's so cute. I'll literally look at them every time I walk out of my room. Obsessed. Okay, so we're gonna go do that. And I'd say have fun, but it's not gonna be fun. It's gonna be boring and whatever, but not every part of the job can be glamorous. <sighs> but time to watch some YouTube, which will make it a little bit fun. Okay, we're milking cows at the good old rodeo. Come on, Christy. Get in there. Let's go. <laughs> Get in there. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on, keep going, keep going, keep going. You got it in your hand. Woo! Happy Sunday, y'all. Oh, I've just been, I need to change out my wax. I've been just such a sad girl. I've been sleeping until like almost noon the last two days. It just be like that sometimes, but we continue on you know like we get through it and it'll be fine but yesterday was pretty fun we went to the yacht rodeo ate a bunch of good food we got like these called crazy fries and they had like cheese bacon ranch on them and then we got funnel cakes and deep fried oreos and it was just a grand time and then we went to dragon slayer which is like 
a board game store in Austin and then we went back to Andrea's house had a bit of a game night to finish playing the games from Chris's game night pick because we didn't get to all of them the night prior and then came home and I watched the first episode of the new season of Love is Blind and do not like the girl Micah seems like a fake ass bitch but I also did not finish pulling the foil I needed to yesterday which is fine I got like over halfway done I just have this much more to pull but we have to get going and it's fine because Chris needs to desperately mow the lawn this morning so he's gonna mow the lawn I'm going to pull foil while I watch YouTube and then when he is done with the lawn we will be getting to work and hopefully doing something productive may help my mental state Okay guys, we finished with the foil pulling it. It was not fun, but now it is done and I don't want to think about it. So, I'm going to get the note cards for this next set of wooden. This is the current journaling card going out. I gotta finish up the previous one, but I'm pretty sure all of them will be, this one will be all used up from the sale. So who do we have today? We are going to be working on Sarah from Florida, Jessica from New Jersey, Raquel from Niagara Falls, New York, Kirsten from the Yeehaw, Jennifer from Nevada, Steph from Arkansas and Lisa from Ohio. Those are like the first couple that we're gonna get through today. Hopefully we're able to get through a bunch and feel productive and have a good day because my brain needs it. I'm gonna write their cards. I think Chris is still working on the one. He has not come back inside. I don't hear it anymore, so I think he's possibly on the back one. They're both um, needing some help, but this first order is kind of big, so I may just get started while he is doing that. However, he might need to take a shower and then I'll probably want to eat something when he gets in here, so I don't know how long he's going to take, but she got Michelle's freebie. Cutie. Um, but yeah, we're just going to get to work and just try to stay very focused. Today, I do have a hair appointment tomorrow, which I do think will be wonderful for my mental health because it'll make me feel better about myself. So that's very exciting. We love to see it. But yeah, I will talk to you guys in a bit. Hello guys, work is going. 
good. We've already gotten some number 10 orders, which is great. But we're taking a little breaky poo because Chris is gonna go eat dinner. I'm not hungry because I ate a later lunch. But I'm gonna lay down my spread for next week, kind of decompress because you know, I had a mental breakdown. It's so good. Love that for me, but I'm gonna lay this spread down because I do have a hair appointment in the morning at like seven o'clock. And so I won't have time to do my regular Monday things. So I'll be there for probably like three hours. So I'm just gonna lay down my spread now and it's gonna be a cute little Easter spread and I'll show you guys when I'm finished. Okay guys, we were able to get like my goal for orders for the day, which is great. I love that, especially because we had a late start with like mowing the lawn and sleeping in. And we had a break in the middle for a mental breakdown and a shower to cheer myself up. <laughs> but I have just uploaded my Monday video. So the last video prior to this is playing with me. Pretty cute. And now I'm going to make myself something for dinner. I've also been working on my grocery list. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you did not, then well, give it a thumbs down because either way, you're helping out my channel. Comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!